Hello guys! Welcome back to another video on the Husky Squad Doggo Life channel. I'm Victoria, JC's filming, and today we'll be reviewing our favorite dog food bowls we've been using for the Husky Squad for almost three years now. If you like doggo lifestyle videos, be sure to like this video right now, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a single video we post here. On this channel, we do product review videos, unboxing videos, and so many other type of videos to make your doggo lifestyle parenthood more enjoyable and so much more fun too. Have you been looking for the perfect dog food bowl for years? Trust me, we have been there. We've tried it all. Let me show you why this may be the last dog food bowl you will ever need. I want you to stick around to this entire video because I'll be showing you why the squad loves these bowls so much more than any other bowl they've used. And also something to look out for very important when you use ceramic bowls in general for your dog. Before we begin this video, I just want to mention something very important. Yes, you can get these bowls. I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can find them, but also keep something very important in mind. Yes, these bowls are amazing, but the most important part about bowls is the food that you put inside these bowls to nourish your dog. If you're still feeding kibble or processed food to your dog, now it's a great time to switch your dog for this new upcoming year to a healthy raw food diet. I know it can be intimidating. That's why we built an incredible course called Kibble to Raw where we help you transition your dog to a healthy raw food diet. This course is built for every budget, every breed, every size dog, and every life stage. We include an amazing 15-week meal transition plan that's helpful for all dogs, even picky and senior dogs too. You can join our Kibble to Raw course by going to huskysquad.com and signing up there. No matter where you live in the world, you are welcome and you'll have amazing benefits transitioning your dog to a healthy raw food diet. So why did we switch to this bowl? A little backstory so you understand if this is the right thing for you too. About three years ago, it was January 2018, our Kimari was diagnosed with cancer and happy to say that she's recovered through a raw food diet. But during that time, our holistic veterinarian dissected our entire lifestyle of Kimari and the rest of the pups to see what we can do to improve their overall healthy lifestyle at home. Not just the food, but everything else. So at the time, we made an incredible amount of changes in the way we nourish and the way we put things for the squad that they touch and consume. So the dog food bowl was very, very important. At the time, we already knew that plastic was definitely not ideal, but I was shocked to find on our stainless steel bowls that I thought were so awesome, I was shocked to find rust on it. And this is something that we addressed during that same time that Kimari had cancer to switch everything out. What we learned is that glass, pure the see-through white glass and ceramic are the safest bowls for water and for food. You could probably use this for water, but we use something completely different for water. Let us know if you want a video on the water bowls we use for the squad. Then we came to the conclusion that we're only going to be using ceramic moving forward. And that's the reason why we started looking for bowls that would be most suitable for the squad. So here, are the five features I was looking for when I was scouring for a bowl all over the internet. Number one, ceramic or glass. That was going to be the only material I wanted for a dog food bowl, and this one is 100% ceramic. Number two, I wanted a nice size bowl that has some decent depth in it and this one fit the bill. This company has various sizes so if you have a very small dog you can definitely opt for the smaller size 
but I generally like feeding in bigger bowls. It's just a lot more comfortable for your dog than having everything stuffed in a tiny corner. Number three. Now this one was probably one of the most important factors besides the fact that I had to be ceramic or glass. I could not find any bowls that were non-slip with exception to this one, especially in ceramic. Yes, you can get them in plastic and in different materials, but obviously I did not want that. And this is the only one that I found that I like that's 100% ceramic that has these amazing silicone ribbons that make it non-slip. The beautiful thing is, is that you can just remove this anytime. It's not stuck on it, it's not glued to it. This way you can make sure that your bowls are nice and clean, but just putting this rim on, I've gotten really good at doing this by now, makes it non-slip for your dog. And this is why, see, I can't move it. This is why the squad loves this bowl because it does not move. Have you seen dogs eat and their bowls just move all over the place? That's not fair. Imagine you're eating and your bowl just moves, your plate moves everywhere. It's the same thing for your dog. I've used different ceramic bowls until I found this one and the bowls just moved everywhere. But at that point, I was more careful about the squad eating the right out of the right bowl. That was more important. But then once I found this, this was it. This is perfect. Number four, these bowls have to be dishwasher safe. There are so many different bowls that are dishwasher safe too, but not all of them are. But this one, not only is it dishwasher safe, but it gets really, really, really clean. And that was very important to me. I actually have two sets because I wash the bowls every single time after their meal. So I have a breakfast set and then I have the dinner set and they're always going to into the wash and the dishwasher every single day. And it makes it so convenient to do that. I made the investment to have six bowls, but it's so worth it because I love keeping the squad's bowls clean. It is so important to wash your dog food bowl after every single meal. I've encountered a number of people that just feed meal after meal in the same bowl and you don't realize how much bacteria and unmentionables collect in that bowl. Just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It's so important to keep your dog food bowl clean after every meal. And this is why you want to have two sets so you can just toss them into the dishwasher and always have ready to go clean bowls for your pup. Number five. Some of you may laugh at this by now. If you've been with us here for a while, you already know this. I have a thing for pretty type of things. If I'm going to be using something all the time, I like it to blend in with my kitchen, my environment. I like it to look nice. And yes, this was important to me when I got this bowl. This company has very pretty designs, a few different colors that can blend into your space. And it's not some bright, crazy color that sticks out. And this one really, really fits the bill. I really, really like this design. Between all these five criteria, I felt like it was going to be impossible to find this bowl, but we did. There's literally only one of this kind of bowl on all of Amazon, and I'm so happy that I bumped into it, tested it, and I've been using it ever since. I absolutely love it, and I think you will too. I'll leave a link to this product in the description of this video so you can try it for your dog.
after seeing the squad eat this delicious healthy food that looks like real food, you're probably itching to give the same type of food to your dog. It is easy, it's amazing, it feels good as a dog parent, and as you know by now, you can go to our website, huskysquad.com, and join our Kibble to Raw course, where we teach you exactly how to do this based on your dog's individual's needs. We love empowering dog parents to feed their dogs healthy, and through this course, we're reaching so many people around the world to help them transition their dogs to a raw food diet. And now we can do the same same thing for you. So here is something very important to look out for when you use ceramic or glass bowls, especially ceramic. You have to be careful that this bowl never gets chipped. So handle it carefully. I've not had a problem. I don't handle it like chinaware, but I'm definitely cautious with it like any other plate that I use for JC and I. Be careful and it won't get chipped. Now, if you do find a chip on your dog food bowl or in your own ceramic plates that you use for yourself, I've done quite a lot of research on this, you have to discard it. There's no way around it because the moment you open it up, you're exposing things that you should not be eating from. So make sure that you only use unchipped plateware, dinnerware, and also dog food bowls. I've not had an issue but just keep that in mind. As always, to see how we use all these products on this channel in everyday life, be sure you go visit Husky Squad, our main channel on YouTube, and subscribe there. You'll be inspired by our beautiful outdoor adventure videos with the Husky Squad, and you will absolutely love it. Of course, you can find links to this beautiful dog food bowl in the description of this video and on huskysquad.com. Did you find this video helpful? We would love to read your comments below this video, so be sure to leave them there. Lastly, be sure to subscribe to this channel, Doggo Life, turn the notification bell so you never miss a single video we post here. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Doggo Life. Bye. Was this video helpful to you? We would love to hear your comments here in the description of the comment of the video. <laughs>